This video was presented by the EA Creator Network. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 kit overview. Today we're going to be checking out the Sims 4 book knit kit, which is clearly focused on build by. There is a cast kit that was also released today and that one is called Grunge Revival, which I also did an overview on. So if you're interested, I will make sure to provide a link down in the description or more than likely at the end of the video. So this particular kit it features a bunch of like modular bookcases, which is great if you want to kind of create kind of a built in look. Also, we have a brand new couch which looks really promising a beautiful beautiful little armchair a love seat and some other little miscellaneous items and decor and clearly a brand new lamp over here that also looks really cool i'm not gonna sit here and chat your ears off we're just gonna dive into the description and then we'll check out the pack a reader's retreat arrange stackable bookshelves and decor in a way that suits your sim style whether that means a light filled window seat or a cozy hideaway in the corner comfy and cozy sing it to a good book and a cushy sofa this kit features plush seating with soft relaxing accents that'll help your sims unwind. We're going to start off the showcase by going through each object one by one in this big old room here. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you all the pre-made room that comes with the kit so that you guys can get a better idea of how these items would look if they were properly staged. Because if I was to show you or even try to come up with something right now, I don't think I would do this pack justice. So anyways, if you're ever wondering how I'm able to tag or filter through specific kits within Build Buy, I currently use the Better Build Buy mod by Twisted Maxi to make my life a thousand times easier. Something that kind of surprised me was that we got a brand new wallpaper and it's called the Genre Max wall. It's paneling. It's very simple, but I like it for some reason. I've been super into paneling lately in The Sims 4 when it comes to building and uh, I definitely could see myself getting a ton of use out of this. I just don't know which one I want to go with for the overview. Maybe we'll stick with this one. It's a little more neutral and easier on the eyes. Here are all the items within the kit at a glance. So as you guys can see, we got a couple brand new seating options, some really cute little end tables, a coffee table, what appears to be a stack of books, perhaps for the wall, a bunch of like little modular units that have storage within them. They also function as bookcases and whatnot, a bunch of decor items, some brand new prints. And then we have a little tray here, uh, another little basket thing, a brand new rug, some miscellaneous decor bookends. And I think that's about it. The first item we have is the cozy corner boucle chair. I had no idea what that was until I looked it up, but it's a texture the Sims team hasn't actually played with before, so that's kind of a pleasant surprise. Also within the swatches are what appears to be like a pinstriped fabric or maybe even a corduroy. I'm not really sure. The texture isn't really coming through. One thing I will say with the color story of this particular kit is that it'd be perfect, absolutely perfect for like a beach home maybe. And uh, the next item is the snuggly spot sofa. Also another thing that I appreciate is so far, these items look relatively affordable because a lot of my sims are broke. It's kind of nice to see some affordable furniture. And so clearly these two are a match. I really like the chair and the sofa, but we also get a, another item and that is the genre max love seat. So basically this love seat is going to be perfect for your built-ins. It also kind of matches the paneling too. I don't know if you guys have noticed. So it has like a nice little low back, tons of throw pillows. And then if we look under underneath the sofa there's some storage there for your books and you're going to notice that kind of throughout the kit there's like a ton of book storage which I think is really cute because it is called picnic after all so the end table that we have is the perfectly round end table and I really liked this one I thought it was kind of unique looking also it has like cutouts there so you can see like the books and stuff the cool thing about the swatches with this is that as you filter through you kind of have a choice of the color of the books that you want so maybe if you wanted to go with books that are a little little more neutral to fit that theme or you wanted something that had a little more color to it you could do that as well so I really appreciate being able to customize a particular item to my fitting especially because or my liking because we don't have color wheels so that was kind of cool to see that in there next is the rounded coffee table and again like the sims they just they love they love their big large freaking coffee tables but if you scale it down I mean I might even scale down these end tables no that looks silly I don't know I don't know uh, but if you scale it down it is a better size I think in my personal opinion and again it does have like some random storage I think one side is completely empty and then the other has like some miscellaneous books and again with the end table you're able to select if you want 
a brighter book set or maybe something that's just a little more um, subdued. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to just make it match here because everything's kind of like all janky. Our next item is the alleged stack of books, which actually is a wall shelf made out of books. I think it's made out of books or it's books stacked upon a shelf. I, I still can't figure it out, honestly. But from what I understand, it is indeed slottable. So you can put like little small decor items on top. Obviously, we will definitely test out that theory a little bit later on but here are other swatches you have a ton of different like combinations to choose from I had to do a little bit of rearranging because now we're coming up on the bookshelves and I wanted to show you guys the modular bookshelf system as a set because it just made a lot more sense than you know going through everything and it's like order I don't know <laughs> anyway here is the genre max bookshelf we also have a partially full version of the exact same bookshelf and then to top it off we have like a medium uh, a medium variation as well as a partially full medium variation and then in terms of like uh, display shelves and things like that there's just an empty like an empty modular case and we also have the storage shelf that has like a couple books in it and then if you wanted you could also use like a full version there I think this is really cute I really like the way that this is looking uh, and also if you guys aren't familiar with the modular system in the Sims 4 which I'm sure everybody is I just don't play with it that much everything will kind of like group together so that if you wanted to like move it to different parts of the room or completely switch up your setup it's just so much easier to do it when it just kind of all like groups together and you don't have to move each uh, each and every piece individually and to give your book neck a little bit of character there are various decor items to choose from for instance we have the basically empty book basket and this will actually fit within your modular shelf system granted you definitely have to play with it a little bit because it will do some pretty funky things it does indeed work and I just love the way that that looks also a cool thing about this little book basket is that if we take a peek inside when we filter through the swatches the print of the actual book covers do change and from what I understand if I'm not mistaking they match some of the prints that I'll be showing you in just a quick little second. So I really like that item. Here we have the pile and the pile is literally a pile of books that can be stacked upon each other. I'm not sure if there's any limit of how high you can get your pile. The pile is looking pretty, pretty stacked right now if you ask me. But um, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I really like that. I don't know why. It's like the little things for me. It's just the things that you don't expect. I guess they take me back the most. But this is really cool I love that you could definitely clutter up your room with these and let me just see what the swatches look like really quick so they kind of just seem to look like the typical book swatches that we've been seeing on like the various furniture items and whatnot and finally here's that print that I've been ranting and raving about it is called the ex libres book print I'm probably saying that wrong it wouldn't be unlike me but what I like about this is that there are a ton of swatches here and they're not all like the same print in just different colors there's like a bunch of different swatches and again, as I was saying earlier, the cover art that we had seen on some of the books in the, the basically empty book basket is also available in print form. So I thought that was kind of cool. Like I really like this yellow one and this pink one and also just having like different variations of the actual uh, frame itself are super duper helpful. So I'm really excited to see that. I love artwork in The Sims 4 and I hope that they continue to keep adding more of it. Here's another little decor item. This one is the storybook house stand. This is definitely an interesting concept concept for decor object. I like though how small and dainty it looks. I almost wonder if it would fit the, oh, it does. It does fit the allegedly stocked book, book stand or bookshelf rather. I like that. I don't know if I would put it here per se, but it does fit in case you were wondering. It also fits great on like the modular shelves too as well. And of course, kind of you know, keeping up with the theme here, the book prints that are on the cover art or the cover art on the book actually matches all the other like cover art on everything else. So that's kind of cool. I like the cohesiveness. And for for trays we have a brand new tray and this one is called the self-care book tray I love trays just because it kind of feels like a personal object within my build or my game and I can just envision maybe like a sim sitting here they were thumbing through their book they got like their bookmark their empty cup of coffee also the detail on this tray is actually pretty good the coaster is very low poly you don't notice it when you scroll up but once you get up you're like is that a coaster or is that just like a sweat stain who knows I mean but I will say the actual mug is really pretty like it has like the speckled kind of like ceramic stone look so that's pretty cool I'm going to move this guy over here to the side and
and we're going to pick up the to be read book basket. So that kind of looks like the empty book basket, like it clearly is using the same mesh, right? But then instead of it being empty, there's a bunch of little books in here. You also have like this really cool plant that, of course, I'm sure everybody, myself included, wishes was a standalone item because how cool would that be to put on your little on your little bookshelf like modular system i mean if you wanted to i'm pretty sure this will slot beautifully over there but also it kind of clips so yeah that's that's a little bit of a bummer that is definitely a little bit of a bummer anyway there is a brand new rug and this one is the rug of poetic justice i don't know why but it kind of looks like one of those like peanut butter cookies maybe i'm just hungry <laughs> do you guys know what i'm talking about it literally has the same texture but this rug is big i wonder how it looks scaled down let's just play around a little bit okay cool because I, I was thinking I, I might even put this in front of like a kitchen sink or like a bathtub or it could be like a welcome rug because of the shape too so there is definitely a lot that you can do with this i mean you could even make this like a full room area rug i definitely think a lot of these pieces that are within this kit aren't specific to a book nook although i mean they were made for it but you could definitely use them through er other areas throughout the house so the swatches on these aren't pretty crazy or anything they're just you know neutral swatches with not a lot of detail um but that's okay i like that anyway let's see what we have here we have the fire hazard oh my goodness why because there's a candle next to a plant that's like grass and dry <laughs> i love anything translucent so already i'm a sucker for it i think it's really pretty and then if we um filter through the swatches there's also some like you know uh stained glass here i don't know if that's like stained you know like that fleckled fleckled freckled stained glass i like that and the little candle too is super cute obviously i'm curious to know if the candle does illuminate at night so yeah it does okay cool i just had to check i just i just had to make sure <laughs> dot my eyes what is it dot my eyes dot my eyes and cross my t's <laughs> yeah basically all right so the next item is the table orb Ooh, this is cool i actually really like this a lot and it does illuminate so you could use this perhaps as like a lamp i think it's going to be a little too tall unfortunately to put on your your little bookshelf modular built-in unit thingamajigger um but yeah that is what this one looks like and then you can kind of filter through a bunch of different swatches to pick the one that you like the most there's also some fun little like pastel -y colors in here Ooh, i love like the marble on the base of that that is really pretty all right so the last well not the last item actually second to last item is the standing orb and this is a big old tall lamp i like this one it's very like contemporary super bright i like the shape of it too and it also has the same marbling detail as the table orb so that's kind of cute for the last item officially it is the strike a pose strike a prose strike a prose book stand i'm gonna put it right here but obviously you're gonna be able to even put this in your built-ins i'd assume I mean, I don't know if you'd want to do that, but I'm pretty sure you could. And that's what that would look like. But let's get a up close sneak peek of this because I'm not really sure what the bookends are made out of. They're like some sort of like marble stone bookend. As promised to give you a better idea of how this kit looks when properly paired together, we're going to check out the pre-made room called the Serene Reading Room. You can purchase this for 9,617 simoleons. There's a few different like variations to choose from. I really like brown, so we're going to go with this one. You you can even get an idea of what other base game items look great with this kit so we have i think this is the notebook over here we have the uh table potted plant on the little like um whatchamacallit the little modular book unit and it looks like they've even placed down like the little vintage book set that you can read from so yeah that basically gives you an idea of how you can pair the items too and i just think this kit is absolutely freaking amazing i love it so much a lot more than i thought it was going to uh like I mentioned previously, I think this is very builder friendly. Like you could use these items within any type of build. Honestly, you don't necessarily have to go for a book nook or even anything book related. You could just kind of use these items scattered throughout your house just to fill up some dead space or add a little more character. I have to admit when I first learned about this kit, I wasn't so sure about how much I would like it or how much use I would get out of it just because the whole book nook thing just really isn't my thing. But now that I've been able to actually get my hands on it and go through all the items, I quickly have 
realized that even if you don't necessarily have any interest in building a book nook or a study, that doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't get this kit. There's so many items within it that I feel like will be perfect throughout your home or just whatever build that you're trying to complete. I feel like this kit is going to be kind of an asset, honestly, uh, to your building catalog. But that's just me. I really like it, actually. And I'm, again, very surprised. <laughs> so anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. But don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time.